Hi there, I'm Marty Owings, and today we're going to take a look at this very inexpensive student grade gouache paint. I'll put it to the test doing this painting right here, and we'll explore a few aspects of this inexpensive student grade paint made in the Netherlands. Well, first things first, these are very inexpensive paints, as I mentioned. I bought this set from my local art store for about 10 bucks. And there's 12 tubes in here. And what's interesting is these are 12 milliliter tubes. Most often you'll find these sample sets or these smaller sets in a 10 milliliter tube. And the regular uh, sets of gouache paint will come in a 15 milliliter tube. So if you buy from Schmenke or uh, Holbein, you're gonna probably get a 15 milliliter tube. You can buy a big 37 milliliter tube as well. Um, so these come in a set of uh, 12, basically 12 and 24, and you can find a color chart if you go to the website um, right there, click on the 24, click on that little color chart there, and you'll find all the colors, the 24 colors in the student line here. So that's pretty handy, and they're numbered, and the tubes are numbered as well, um, and they're also labeled with a color name, which I appreciate. Now, Royal Talents is a Dutch company, and it's been around for years and years, I think like 1899, and they have uh, been manufacturing art supplies uh, for a long time. They do uh, manage many brands, including Rembrandt and Van Gogh, and you can see here an Amsterdam and a Talons line of paint, including the uh, Bruins Neal, is that it? Bruins Neal, Brunzeel pencil line. Um, they also, uh, market these extra fine gouache here. So if you want their artist grade gouache, you can find this in the Talons Gouache Extra Fine. And that comes in a line of 60 colors. And you, like, you can buy different size tubes there too. And they're all numbered. Um, and I think you might be able to mix these paints as well. And they come in two different sets here. Um, uh, you know, basic color set and then an expanded set. So like I said, these, I'll, I'll wet a paper towel here because I want this paint to stay moist while I use it. And gouache has a tendency to dry out pretty fast. So I'll put all the colors here and then I'll paint out some swatches here. I'm going to use this uh, number half flat here. This is a Princeton half flat. And there'll be links in the description down below to all the gear I use today. And if you click on that and uh, buy from Amazon, using my affiliate link, I get a few pennies. So it doesn't cost you any more, but it helps me out. So use those links if you, um, if you think of it. So here, swatch out the first six colors, and they're very nice, very vibrant. I love the red and the blue here. And I was eager to see how this paint would dry. Sometimes gouache dries a little you know, different than it goes down. So it's, it's good to see how it dries. And here I'm mixing the paint. So I'm uh, mixed like I always do to try to get some different colors. So here it's trying to get a nice orange color out of the yellow and red. And here I'm going to try to get some flesh tones. So I like to paint portraiture and it's nice to know that I can mix the paints and get a flesh tone. And they're not quite dry yet, but they look good. So far I'm kind of impressed by this really inexpensive gouache. Like I said, this red right here, really nice. Um, and, and I like that burnt sienna too. And you can mix that burnt sienna and red to get like a deeper, uh, maybe an English red or something. And then here these flesh tones really came out good. Now I just mixed a little white in there and, and lighten it up, but all these, all these mixtures came out great. And I love this orange color here I got from mixing um, the light yellow and the scarlet. Very nice. And you can get that nice purple color. And here I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to the gouache because I wanna see what it it looks like if you can um, you know, lighten it up a little bit or paint it on a little thinner, I guess is the right word for it. So I'm, I mix a little more water in here and just kinda drag it out and see what it looks like uh, when it goes down thin. And I like the look of it. I like the vibrancy of the paint. I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna do a little wet on wet. So you can see here, just using some of that burnt sienna and a little bit of yellow and then mixing some of this red and blue. And here I'm gonna get a green in the middle. 
And here I'm going to try something different. That's very flat black, but I'm trying to get kind. Of, I was trying to get kind of a Payne's gray. But look at the lemon yellow and burnt sienna. That'd make a great sunset, I think. And and I like so these are dry now. And I hope you can get the right angle here and kind of see how flat this paint is. It really absorbs light, and gouache is. That's one of the properties of gouache is it's very flat. You can see that almost chalky looking scarlet there. So all of these paints are very opaque when laid on thick, but they're versatile enough to give you kind of the wash effect here. And I, I the more I played with these, the more I wanted to put them uh, to the test in different ways because um, they, they were doing so good along the way. So the next thing I'm gonna do is sort of, what I wanna do is layer and glaze a little bit with these. So basically what that means is I'm going to throw some paint over paint. I'm going to let these bottom layers dry, and then I'm going to paint some lines through. See, just like this. And see how much A uh, of the paint it picks up in the background, and B, uh, just how easy it is. Now, I use this white, the titanium white, to cover. And I wanted to see how well I could cover a color up with that very opaque white. And I think it did a great job. That white will tend to, in a gouache, cover very well. And now, you know, time to put it to the test here. And I, I'm borrowing a piece that James Gurney did here, um, and I'm trying to recreate that. Um, James Gurney is a, a great painter and um, the author of the Dinotopia books. And if you get a chance, go over and check out his channel, James Gurney. I've learned an awful lot about painting just generally uh, using color and light and also gouache. So he's a great painter with any medium, but I think like illustration medium is, is some of the favorite work that he likes to do. And same with me. So I'm learning from him. And one way to learn is to uh, imitate the master or use their work as a guide. And, and I've asked James Gurney if he's okay with me doing that, and he's been really generous about that. So no problem with that. I just want to mention that it, this is a copy of a work that he did, and I'm using that as reference. But the painting itself, you know, I took some liberties with it, kind of make my, make, made it my own. But um, And this is a painting I did in my sketchbook as well. So it's my second visit with this, and I thought it came out pretty good. I like the water tower and kind of the painting of ordinary things. And I think this one I'll just sign right here, just so nobody gets confused, which I'm sure they, I'm sure they never will. But, uh, but uh, and James Gurney's work is much better. But Art Creation is the kind of affordable brand of paint sold by Talons. And if they, it comes with a little brochure and they give you a guide to step-by-step -step painting uh, with this particular student grade gouache. And I think you'll, um, you'd enjoy this. And you know what, for like less than $10, it's not gonna break the bank and it's a real affordable way to get into a medium if you're new to it. So, you know, if you're new to gouache and you've never used it before, um, this would be a great way uh, to uh, get, get into gouache a little bit. Um, and, and there's lots of material here to explain uh, how gouache works and what this student grade paint can, can do for you and, and the step-by-step -step here. Uh, you know, they advertise this as a, a beginner's gouache and they talk about it being opaque and matte and stuff like that, but you really have to get a, a little feel for gouache and, and try using it. But it is a water-based medium. So if you add water to it, and there's what I paid $10 at wet paint, um, it, it's a water-based medium so you can clean up your brushes with water and you can get a nice like painterly effect using um, using gouache. And I I really like how this gouache actually, you know, this is like a little gem. I, I love the Dutch uh, manufacturing and these, right, look at how well this dissolved and that, that would be a beautiful sunset. So I think this is great for storyboarding or sketchbook work. I don't know how light fast it is honestly, but uh, I suppose you could ch check with Talons on that. Um, if you get a chance, go check out my website. Scroll down on the page on the right-hand side, click follow right there, and join me on the artistic journey. I just posted something 
a little while ago about how to have fun. I posted some links to some fun things to do, um, books, things that, you know, videos, stuff like that, that you might enjoy and have fun with. Well, thanks for stopping by today to take a look at these inexpensive gouache student grade paints from the Talents Company. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. So long, everybody.